Hey everyone, Broadbent here and welcome to my modded Valheim series. The goal of this series is to explore what mods have to offer, completely changing the way the game plays, adding new content, and really unlocking the game's potential. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, so let's get started. So today I've got a very specific build in mind for the island. My friend Matt actually suggested this. This is not my own idea. Uh, we're going to be building a graveyard today and it's going to go just over here um, on the corner of the island. Pretty much the furthest away it can be from everything. I want my render distance to be higher here. That's kind of annoying that it doesn't <laughs> show the lighthouse. So the idea is to build a graveyard and this graveyard um, you might be wondering why, what's the point? Apart from decorational purposes, it's actually a bit of a showcase of how the series is progressing. What? Are you insane? <laughs> a five star? So, there's gonna be a mausoleum and a few of those actually. Maybe, maybe just one mausoleum, I'm not too sure. Um, but the idea is, it's a graveyard. And at, begin at the beginning, it's gonna be empty or close to. And every time I die, I build a new tomb, or like, um, basically a grave, to represent the death. So you'll be able to see how many deaths I've had. And I think that's a really, really cool idea, and it's gonna go right here. So, um, I've got a, quite a bit of clearing out to do. This is gonna be interesting. I need to get a portal out here ASAP, because this is, um, a bit of an exhausting run, I'm not gonna lie. Imagine having to walk in this game. Couldn't be me. Okay, I think this rock is a good enough location here. We're gonna chuck everything down all in one spot. I've got every single work workbench because I think I'm gonna need them all. I definitely am actually. So that's all set up. Let's get the portal down. Then we can begin. So, I guess I graveyard. Seems fitting. All right. I'm going to get to work chopping everything out here because we're going to need this place very, very empty. Okay then, so let's begin flattening this area out here. I think I want to go with as high as possible because the waves tend to mess things up. So I also want to keep varying heights, but I can always change that later on. So yeah, we're going to go with as flat as possible for now and then later on we'll probably change things. Okay, this is looking a bit better here. I don't want this place to be massive, so I think this is a good amount right here. You need to stop spawning over here, kiddo. This is looking pretty good here. So I'm planning that over here, I'm going to have a really nice big tree with some benches around it and stuff like that. And all the way through here, I guess we'll have a center walkway and then graves on either side. Okay, I've shaped the land just a little bit more here. I might... Bring this out just a touch. Really? <laughs> like that. Bring this up. But that is looking rather good. A little bit of work to do along this side, but I'm just trying to get an idea right now. I'm not doing too many details. So let's flatten this out and then do some planning, I think. Now, I've already got a very clear um, build idea in my mind. Um, I know exactly what this is going to look like, just I don't really know the layout, if that makes sense. So I'm going to plan the entrance to this place, like right here. In fact, you know, let's equip this. So my plan is to have a barrier or a wall all the way around like this. Actually, that's a pretty good entrance right there. Might even have a little archway. And that will be the, the whole design, basically, for the walls. And right here, add these in like that. That's the idea. Um, I might even make this a blueprint really quickly because I'm going to use it a lot. Yeah, let's do that. I actually really enjoy how many deer making blueprints. I don't really get to do it very often, but it's really nice. So let's just shave off a little bit of time here by doing that. I think that's good. Uh, Let's select these, add in the snap points just like that, and everything is good to go, I think. <laughs> Gotta make sure that you include the little snap markers just like that. 
And this is ready to be a blueprint. So, I think it's this one. Say slash the blueprint. And then we'll call this graveyard wall. There we go. Graveyard wall. So now I can build this by go to my blueprints. <laughs> Look at that. That's so sick. Oh, I can even... Oh. Now we're talking. Okay. Maybe this is a bit too much. I don't know, actually. I think this is all right. I need to remove that for the entrance here. I don't know why, but my um, my build cam mod isn't working right now, so I'm going to have to go with this mod, I think. If I can... There we are. <laughs> this helps a little bit. Um, to give you an idea of the layout of this place, I don't think this is too big. I mean, I can add a lot of stuff to make it uh, more interesting. So, you know, graves and stuff will be here. But I'm going to have a, a pretty big building somewhere. I think this is a good size. Yeah, I like this. Awesome. Let's finish off the wall. So I'm thinking that this would be a little gateway through to where I'm going to plant um, an oak. Really nice oak uh, tree right here with some benches around it. I can see that working really well. Okay. I'm going to get this terrain to uh, to match here. Paint it all back down as grass. Maybe even cultivate it. I think the cultivating works quite a lot better, actually. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, well, that is looking pretty good. I'm going to chuck down a little bit of a rough path. Because I'm not entirely sure where this is going to go. I need the stone cutter. I was going to just have a straight path going through, but that is not going to look good. Not one bit. How on earth has that happened? Really, Valheim? <laughs> sure. I think this is going to work out quite well, actually. If I do that... And then bring this as a path down. I think I like that a little bit more. Yeah, maybe a little garden in the middle here. And then the graves around the edge. Okay, so this is my ideal grave. I'm not like 100% certain. But I'm quite confident that I really do like this. And it's kind of big. Um, I don't really want to redesign it because... I think it's about the right size, but I do need more space in here, so I might have to go back to having a single channel through um, through the graveyard here, unfortunately. I'm going to get to work building the mausoleum. So, so this design might not even fit in here, honestly. It's going to be a little tough. We have to build it at an angle, I think, like right here. This place might be too small. Okay, the mausoleum is definitely going to go in this corner right here. It's just the best spot for it. So, if I plan the layout here, that is how wide it's going to be, and it's going to be a square. Jeez, this thing's huge. Why is there a war party coming my way? <laughs> I, <laughs> Yo, chill. I'm not adding to this thing already. All of a sudden, my free cam wants to work. All right. Mods are weird. So, hopefully I remember how to build this thing. There's not going to be a door. Why am I in the way? I'm, I'm going to seal this thing off more like a tomb. It's just easier to do. If there was a stone door mod, I would change that. But I actually really need a stone door for a lot of things. Well, two things so far. And honestly, why is that not a thing? <laughs> Play a really cool sound effect with it as well. So, that's the shape right there. Not perfect, not done either. Um, but let's chuck in all the little details as well here. I'm going to be using a lot of standing torches, and the color, I'm going to be going with blue. Um, I feel like blue is very ghostly, and it matches the graveyard theme very well. So that is almost this thing done right here. Just seal in the roof like this. And throw in these. Okay, I've got to get this in the center like that. And then we're going to build a perimeter around here. And then the final touch is just these stairs right here. I'm going to add a few torches to the bottom. 
Um, I'm going to be spending a lot in Grey Dwarf Fires for these torches today. But that's it. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it's a nice little touch. And once I add in these lights, which are going to go in here, you should see it come to life. Honestly, though, I'm not 100% a fan of the location. I think I want it to be here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to move it. There we go. The whole thing is moved. I'm also going to add these in here. I forgot to do that on the other one. It just sort of fills these gaps and adds a bit of, like, like texture to it. It's just very stone <laughs> without. So this is a, a nice touch, I think. There we go. That thing is done. It made us look like a box, but I am quite limited with Valheim. So, yeah, I think that's turned out quite well, apart from, apart from that, but... Again, can't really do much about it, unfortunately. I am going to repaint all of these... All of these in. I don't like this. Okay, I'd like to use this grave if, uh, if possible. So... I'm going to try and see what it would look like. And how many I could fit in. I don't want to, like, get them all cramped. But I also want to fit quite a few in here. There we go. That seems... Okay. That allows to quite a few graves. How many is that? <laughs> I don't think I need this many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, and 18 graves. You know, I think that's not too bad. What does it look like if I was to put grass around them? Maybe better, honestly, than soil. Alright, well, I think I'm ready to go here. What I'm going to do is delete the graves, because it doesn't make sense to have um, have the graves right now. So, I'm going to add the graves as we go along. Why are there no railings here for you? I might have to go get some more iron. I hate to say that. Like, you have no idea how much I hate to say that. But I think I have to. 94 iron. Yeah, I definitely need more. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, I think I want to delete these graves, and we're going to add them every time I die. It doesn't make sense to have them all right now, so let's just do that. So I just wanted to plan how many I can have, and I think it was, like, close to 20, so... I'm generally very happy with that, actually. Hmm. Well, it's building. A little bit of a bug with this, actually. Every time you go through a portal, it, like, resets. Um, but yeah, now it's needing... <laughs> I don't want to spend that much iron, man. That's going to blow. I only have 31. 32 there. I think I've got another 10 in here. Where is it gone? I know it's here somewhere. Uh, 10 iron. Oof. All right, goodbye, Iron. I don't think I need you for anything, so... Just spend it all. <laughs> My money! Not enough support! What? You are joking. Anyhow, that's gonna be the general theme for this place. It's spooky light blue. I love it. Man, I don't have a lot of coal, either. That's, um... <laughs> Concerning. I need to farm more coal. I might even just chuck some wood in a kiln, I think, for now. Because I need it, like, right now. That is what you get for not building enough coal farms. I only built the one. Alright, first crypt. I think I only need to do one, if I'm honest with you. Really? Immediately? You're gonna do that to me? I don't think I've ever, ever had that happen before. Okay, let's begin the journey and clear out this place. Using vein mine shouldn't take too long. Now I'm just clearing out this crypt, and I have a feeling that the creature level and loot control mod isn't working in crypts. I, I haven't looked if it's actually mentioned on the mod listing or not, but... Yeah, I don't think it does anything in here. I haven't seen anything above a one star, so... Yeah, like, no. It, it, I don't think it works in here. Unfortunately. Okay, I think this dungeon is now clear. I probably got enough. So I'm gonna try and exit. <laughs> Maybe. 
I think it's here, yeah. Alright. All I gotta do now is provide the coal, get it smelted, and then we can finish off the main build of the graveyard. Look how cool this place looks at night. The blue is a really nice touch. Like, it's kind of creepy. Like, it sends shivers down my spine. Like, imagine being there and seeing a ra- uh, what are they called? Wraiths? Okay. Now, this might be enough in here to finish off. Let's take a quick look. So, I need 53 and got 27. You know what? I'm just going to automate that right now. It should build these as well. And a few of the fences. Not too much left. I want to work over here really quickly and turn this into a nice area. So, let's do that. Okay. That's looking good. Now, I want to add a very sort of like a kind of a weak wooden fence around here. It's sort of a guider that people don't have to follow, but they kind of should. In fact, no. No. I'm going to make it a full-fledged, full-fledged fence right now. How many oak seeds do I have? I don't think many. Wait, they're just acorns. I have six acorns? That's incredible. I thought... <laughs> this entire time, six. Is that right? It's an acorn, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm gonna plant that guy... Right here, I think. Pretty much right at the end, I think. They do get quite big, but... Yeah, I think I want to center it, actually. We'll do... there. And we'll see how that turns out. I want to get some seating down in here, so let's quickly add in some paths. A bit like that. And then, with the furniture, we'll add some nice benches facing outwards. Another nice finishing touch that I'm actually starting to use a lot more is adding crops. Uh, like planting some mushrooms and stuff around. Like, it's just a nice... Really nice little detail here. Especially for the graveyard. The thistles glowing in the background really helps sort of sell the vibe. Don't want to overdo it though. I may have overdone it. <laughs> I think I've gone a little crazy. A few dandelions and that should mix it up a little bit. And that should be the last of the iron bars. Maybe? Really? Okay, no, no, she's taking some time. <laughs> I was gonna be mad. Right. Got some benches in here. I think some lights out here is required. Um, but I think I want to wait until nighttime to add the blue lights in. Now, one thing that I really want to do right now is assign these deaths. So, they are right. Okay. So, I've had a few deaths already in the series, and I want to mention them here. I've died to a two-star troll in a live stream that I did. I've also died to fall damage. And something else recently, actually. I don't know what it was. I think I want to add dates on these. So I'm just going to, for these, say unknown date. And, uh, yeah, I think that's looking rather good here. So, ooh, the thistles actually have a matching light with those. That looks so good. I'm going to add a few lanterns here. Let's get one there. And one here. They are going to be quite pricey, so... I'm going to chill on the iron, I think, a little bit. Let's take a look at this entrance and see if we can make this look any better. I probably can just about do this. Honestly, not sure how I feel about that. It's quite bad, but it's also good. <laughs> you know what? I want to roll with it for a little bit. I'm probably going to remove that, but... It was just a... Just a guess. I wanted to see what it would look like. So, I'm going to add two entrance lights right here. Set the scene. Like that. Four of them, actually. Let's get some iron and finish this thing up. Not on there. These here. I don't want to overdo it. I've overdone it for the entrance here, because I want them on both sides. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Hiding. That is definitely enough support. I don't know what you're talking about. Why? Okay, now it's buildable. <laughs> well, there we have it. That's the general idea for this place. Like a really nice luminous blue. And if I go into free cam here, kind of, you can see this is coming along extremely well. I really... 
I've got to do this, and I want that sapling to grow. I wonder how long's left. I think it tells me with the mod. 31 minutes. Um. Um. A rather fitting raid would have been the skeletons. But I guess we're going to have to deal with that. Okay. Just happens as I'm leaving the area as well. That's quite funny. I wonder what this looks like from the lighthouse. Oh! It's supposed to be gone by now. This is... This is broken. I'm going to go check it out from the lighthouse. I've built more of a platform here. Um, around the tree. So I think this is going to look rather nice. A nice big, healthy oak. Dude, that looks so good. I want to get on top. Hold on a sec. Okie dokie. Let's take a look. I really like the wall. The wall's really solid looking. You can just see the path from here. Yeah. I'm really happy with that. And potentially, if I need to, hopefully I don't have to, I can expand it down slightly. Um, but for now, that's... That's a good enough size. Yeah, dude, this place is coming along very well. I know I mentioned that I was going to have a nice little, like, holiday home down here, but I think this is a bit more fitting, honestly. So there it is. Let's add the, uh, the little portal here. Graveyard. A new addition to the island. You know... Honestly, I didn't expect to get this far with the island. I thought it was... First of all, the island's way bigger than I thought. And I didn't expect to, like, fill it out as much. Like, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for uh, making it a fully fleshed out island. Does that make sense? Hell yeah. Look at that. Now, if anyone wants to comment all the deaths that I've missed out here, uh, feel free. I will build the tombstones as they happen. Um, but I feel like I've missed a few, so... I'm going to leave that down to you guys. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with just having the two sort of backdated ones right now. I was also thinking about the possibility of adding a dock down here. You know, if they want to bring in like a... You want to import the coffin through boat. Makes sense. But unnecessary. I think this is pretty good as it is. Alright. I'm just going to wait until this has fully grown so we can take a look. Whoa! Okay. Jesus. Um. Well, hey, I mean, I don't dislike it. <laughs> I don't dislike it. In fact, I may even like it. It's kind of silly in here, but that is gigantic. I, for some reason, I thought, I guess, oaks were smaller. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. I'm okay with it. That's a really nice tree. That's a nice little finishing touch, I think. Gonna get two more lights. One there. And one there. And then I think... That is gonna be a wrap for the graveyard. You're not gonna build, are you? No, you are. Okay. Now, right now, it's not gonna look very fleshed out. And that's because they don't have enough graves. Um, but eventually, it will have graves all the way down the side here. And a few just behind uh, the mausoleum. Yeah, dude. I I'm, I'm really happy with this. This turned out great. Anyhow, that is all I've got time for in today's video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the graveyard in the comments. I personally think it's a great addition. I want to say thanks to Matt for suggesting it. Um, and the idea of adding them as I go along is sort of like a little marker as to, like, say, what happened during the series. I think it's a really nice touch. Anyhow, that's going to be everything from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.